What a shock. Right. So I was carrying the wrong message here. Don't leave home without iPads. Two of them. Mm. Okay. One is for Sunday, one is for today. Thoughts none tithers have. I want us to read uh, two scriptures, please. Proverbs 23, verse 7. As well as Philippians 2, verse 5. It's good to see all of you today here. May God bless you. Bless your boyfriends if you have boyfriends. Bless your husbands or spouses if you have spouses. Bless your good friends if you have friends. If you have no friends, we'll pray for you that friends may abound in your life. It's good to have friends, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you have children, may they be blessed too. Yeah, and everything to do with you. Hallelujah. Did you enjoy having Mama Nyat here? Too much. How? I saw many talent can be the pillar. Even in Kona, like all right. Too much, too much. We're 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 too much. Minister of Helps yeah. uh, as a way of promotion. Yeah, it says, Pelabanyanti, you call it no nunch. We are so glad. Yeah. Shall we go to Proverbs 23, verse 7? Shall we read? Proverbs 23, verse 7. Shall we read? And let's get this come somewhere. We say new life. We thoroughly enjoy it ourselves. Okay. New life is the church that I went to. You see, my stories are coming out now and being fulfilled as I as I travel. Yeah. yeah. When I got born again in 1977, New Life was a youth group. So we we'll go there Saturday afternoon. Then the disciples will go there Sunday morning. Yeah. Then one thing led to the other. We ended up Bethany, Bethany, Bethel, and then we linked up that way. Yeah. So to go there for 40th anniversary, I really felt yeah, honored to go and preach. I saw my fathers there. When I say my fathers, people that I admired, who stood then at that time, and as I said, I said, how do how do they have such courage to stand before people like this? It seemed like everything was flowing through them. So during one of my sessions, I asked, because they are no longer in the, one of them rather is outside the country in the States. But to see them on the platform, I said, these are the men in 1977 I admired so much. So I asked if they could pray for me. Mm. They, they, they really prayed for me. Mm. So I felt, I felt so good. Mm. I just seized the opportunity. I am a good person when it comes to seizing opportunities. If I see a spiritual moment, I'm there. I don't miss it. Uh, may I pray that you be like that too. That you don't, you don't miss such opportunities. If you see them, God says, this is opportunity. You will never see this again. So ask that these men pray for you. And they stood up to say, for years I was listening to them. Now they are listening to me. Mm, yeah. So there you are. I was just a boy coming from Mziligazi and, uh, and running there without bus fare sometimes. Yeah. History is an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. What you are today may not be what you will be at the end of the day. Yeah, if in particular, if you are faithful in serving God, I can see these guys are saying I should be in the center here and not always gravitating towards that. Mm. Yeah, so history is an amazing thing. Uh, 
whoever you are admiring today, tomorrow they may admire you. Yeah, because God has a way of somehow lifting those that uh, follow him yeah, and lifting them up. I pray that you will lift you up. I pray that whoever you admire today, you will far surpass them. Mm. That they will come in and you will be able to acknowledge them. The key thing with life is acknowledge people that have crossed your path and added value. Don't be a self-made person. You say, me I, my point is too challenging. You are not Melchizedek, uh, who has no beginning or end. When we Dorothy, on Paul, see like, see, I have the beginning, yako, the end, yako. Touch your neighbor and say, you are not Melchizedek yourself. Mm. Yeah. No matter how big you are, find someone to acknowledge who even added a dot in your life. That will teach you humility and that will teach you elevation. Just find someone who crossed your path. I told you about a young guy I saw in Facebook and I said, Mama, look at this guy. This guy is saying, oh yeah, may I just, uh, myself, everything, everything. I said, phone her, let me talk to her. I said, this is what is going to happen. Hey, uh, Queen, go to This guy is writing there. I didn't think he, he, he knew that we will see it. In, at the keep indolence, keep a masinian. Who acknowledge good thing up at Otherwise, I'm going to debate my money. I'm going to ask the lawyers to take all my money that I put. I saw Utanya look. Find someone to acknowledge. Hey. If you can't find someone who did even the smallest thing in your life, thank someone sitting next to you. Because it takes a lot of anointing to sit next to you. Turn around and say, I want to thank you for sitting next to me. Hey, start there. I want to thank you for sitting next to me. If you can't find anyone sitting next to you, even that guy who once proposed, thank him and say, I really want to thank you for finding me attractive and, uh, or finding me handsome. Uh, because uh, uh, that's uh, out of all these uh, in finding it takes a great miracle. Once you are grateful with God, you will find that you will give you more. Even in the natural, ladies and gentlemen, People that are not appreciative are not good people. That you found me attractive. Thank you so much. Hey, find you attractive. Hey, hey. Hey. I to so It's just one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, to thank you now. Thank God for them. Say amen. Man, you in a high, our food will appreciate. So, Kali is going to pan and you're born. You go far. Yeah. Just to appreciate. Let's start by doing that. Lift up your hands and say, Thank you, Lord. For the good breakfast I ate, if you did. For the good breakfast I ate. Or the lunch I ate. Or the dinner I will eat. I thank you for the friends that I have. I thank you for my church friends. I thank you for my leaders in this church. In particular, this man who is wearing a blue suit standing before me. Mm, he is a good man. He is one of a kind. I really, I don't know what word I should use. I really love him. <laughs> you don't joke over that word. <laughs> How? <laughs> so, I was not here. around me. Pants, they visit in Tandas in Abandona. Yeah, when Kitchmela, when Pesha, 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 
Kuwe wati kwa bicha nundi mtanga sala la pashua. Anga pila kusila. Hish. Awa nyibi mfakele ma red carpet. Red carpet. Hish. Awa nyibi mkutela pansi. Like magu aso. Pati me kuta pansi. Hish. Pati asi unandi. Bogu puma we ube setege li zamu ya andi. And then come back home. Macha ufunu kutlanu yi setege li kupele umerubu yenkaya. So I'm so happy that I'm here today and we trust that we can enjoy ourselves together. Remember we are dealing with this declaration being our last declaration. Principles of prosperity and wealth creation. Now we are tackling the subject of tithing. Yeah, it's good for this group to know more about tithing so that we all become tithers. Proverbs 23 verse 7. For as he thinks in his heart, this is a person, so is he, man or woman. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. Philippians 2 verse 5. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Say Amen. Non tithers become poor or they find themselves in a bind because of the way they think. Non tithers have a certain negative thought patterns. Some think that if they tithe, they make the pastor rich. So therefore they can't do that. They don't want to tithe. Some think, you know what? When I tithe, I don't see immediate results. So why not take what I have 100% and devour it? Now when you devour a tithe, a seed is very poisonous when you devour it. It may be okay as you swallow it, but once it's in your tummy, it will work against you. In fact, that's why some seeds are laced with poison. So that when they are put underground, even insects can't eat them. Spiritually speaking, the seed that you're supposed to give to God, you don't eat. If you eat it, it's for planting. Say amen. So never kangama puti with a seed. So a seed. So that the seed will bring a harvest. Say amen. You can't sit down for a meal and begin to eat a seed. You can't go to a restaurant and take your tithe and call your friends and celebrate while you are eating a tithe. I tell you that will be the end of it. They will celebrate with you there, but at the end, your decline is very imminent. Yeah, it will be seen by all. Because you are touching what we call the holy things of God. That's why the Bible says, bring yourself or bring tithes into the storehouse. Bring them. It's a command. It's not a negotiation. It is God talking to you. He wants to teach you early the discipline of trusting God. Knowing that you can have $100, but $10 is not yours. And that you are willing to part with it in believing the word of God. When you honor him that way, he comes surely to honor you too. I want you to say hallelujah. Mm. So nine tithers become poor because of their minds are full of bad thoughts concerning the subject of tithing. Negatively minded people do not prosper. They can't. One, two. One, two. This is much better. One, two, one, two, one, two. So negative-minded people can never prosper because of their thought patterns. 
I want to give you thoughts that cross the minds of non-tithers. Here is number one. Here is number one. I earn too little to pay tithes. Yeah, this is the mindset of a non-tither. He thinks, number one, his money is too small or his wage or salary is too small to pay tithe. Or that whatever tithe he pays won't make a difference. I don't know what difference you are looking for because it is a command from God. Whether it's a dollar, it's a command from God. So when you honor God in tithes there, he will come for you and come through for you. Matthew 25, verse 24 to 25. Then he who had received one talent, one talent, this is the parable of talents, and there were three dudes here that were given a number of talents. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So he took that talent and buried it. It is important if you are to transact in God and prosper that you honor the principles of God. The principles of God is give, 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 give. They will always work for whosoever will honor them. And he says in verse 25, I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. And then he presents it and he says, Master, you have come back. Here is your talent. Now, this is a very, very dangerous way of thinking because you can't trust God to take that which is his anyway and sow it back to them. So that person buried his talent. Number two, I earn too much to pay tithes. Some people look at their pay, whether they are earning 10,000 or 20,000, and say, what? 1,000 to God. I can do a lot with 1,000. You are making a mistake. You are creating a curse over your life. Even things that were intact in your life altogether, they begin to fall apart. You will find that you end up paying more. The car begins to cough. The geezer or the stove or the gas stove or something falls apart because the enemy has come in to devour. When you are tithing, you are building a hedge around about that which you have. Let's say you have $100, you take out $10. It is the $90 that is sanctified by God. That means it can go far, far, far further than the complete $100 because it is sanctified. Say amen. So learn to tithe at an early, early age. It is my wife who taught me to tithe. Me, I was an accountant. I didn't want to tithe. I just said, why tithe? I mean, really... But she had been born again at age eight. So she lived by these principles. Me, I had gone to train as to how to save money. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't want to release money. <laughs> so early in our marriage, it was me holding back and not her. And she would tell me, let's tithe. It's important to tithe. And say, oh, let's keep some months, I mean, and so forth. And she would say, no, 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 no. If you don't do, if you don't tithe, I will take mine anyway and go and tithe. But it would be good that together we tithe together. Mm. I saw how serious she was about this thing of tithing. Eventually I said, you know what? This could turn out to be a point of conflict. Let me do what she's saying. So, so I began to tithe. Oh, <laughs> You don't joke with me in terms of giving. Don't mess around with me in terms of giving. I, 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 I give. I seriously believe in this thing called giving. Seriously. That wherever I'm going, it doesn't pass a moment. At times when I'm praying for people, I feel God say, give so and so. I was praying for some men that I don't even know from a power of soul. But I just like the way he danced. He was an elderly man. Yeah. Did you see the elderly man at your life was dancing? He was getting down stood up and got down the bishop, him and the bishop and they were going for it, I said my God but my my, my, my passion was attracted was, was, was directed to him so as I was praying now I met him again and said this is man and the spirit of God said so hundred dollars to this man, I just took out my wallet and just gave him, mm -hmm. I don't know what was shot in his life, 
I didn't bother to go. He didn't even bother to find me after the service. I was not looking for that. For me, I was happy that I just obeyed. Mm. So my lifestyle, therefore, is like that. It is the lifestyle of sowing. Yeah, you may look at yourself and say, why Bishop? Bishop has never given me money. Because God has not yet told me to give you money. <laughs> but keep on praying. <laughs> I may come your way. Keep on praying. I can tell you that. Don't stop praying. I may come your way. And when I, can, when I come your way, you will smile, I tell you. You will tell everybody that that man is a good man. Because money is a powerful tool. So I bless that man. I don't know his name. All I know is that he's elderly. I thought he was 70 something. Uh, but he was dancing. Mm. Dancing. He was dancing in the spirit. I said, I love this man. Mm. I don't care what problems he has or whether he's all right or not. But I must do something for him. Mm. As I laid my hands, I just said, before I pray for you, let me. Ushalule wale tis kome. Ilu wei mata adanje kutu za niga banyabatu. E manjo wenu ya ichi wale tise mote ni yako so. Ngobu yesabu tu pisho plapa anga anga hampe moe na beze ki eh eh sala le wallet and ibe le mali so that when God says my son my daughter there is a need there you are quick to move in there I can not there is a need there ah you uti ngani katin zai mita patai I'm biyanga le mali u sala le anu ala mali eh shua eh I like your style eh. Sure, sure, sure. Salule <laughs> wallet so that unkulukuru zaku trust good. You know what? When my son appears here, me I smell needs. I can smell a need, and I move swiftly. I don't even consult him. That's when telling the mali yami. No tega mamu ya yami. You go to top your phone. You say mamu ya tiba nchi siti nlap. Amatama tisi zaku tini yami le. Kuto i himani nula yule shiman. This is this is himan. I'm not accountable to anybody. Yeah. Whether I put a thousand, five thousand, I know. Mm. But tithing, therefore, becomes very important, ladies and gentlemen. If you miss it at this early stage, in terms of finances, you'll be a mediocre Christian. Yeah. You will never rise above any, any money. Yeah. You will never. Yeah. I told you last Tuesday about people that they have promised me money and it comes to 25 million. I told you. Say, Ibiza. Say, Ibiza. Yes, Ibiza. But what? Yeah, it's not me to pick up a phone. Hey, 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 I just said, uh, you won't get me debating about what God told you. Uh, I wasn't there. Uh, midnight. Midnight eating. ain't too much to pay tithes. So there are those that feel, you know what? I can't tithe this much mm, to God. But listen to the words of David. First Chronicles 29, King David, that is. 29 verse 14. But who am I? Hesh! Who am I? Who and who are my people that we should be all able to offer so willingly as this? For all things come from you. And of your own, we have given you. Hey. Ah, David. Yeah. <laughs> he is simply saying, even though you demand that we give you 10%, even the 90 is yours. Did you know that you can be demobilized now in life and feel that you can't function? But the fact that you can move, the fact that you woke up today, Amen. the fact that you are breathing, Amen. and the fact that you are seated there on a chair, Amen. the fact that you can write, yeah. who am I? <laughs> oh, and who are my people that we should be able to offer 
so willingly. What a gracious God. He loves us. If you just look at some of your friends and look at the bind that they are in, your friends, you look at them and you can tell this person is troubled. But you are not. I have many, because I've gone through many classes, different from you that went to one class one. I've gone through many classes and so forth. So I have met many classmates. My classmates are more than yours. Because I spend time reading and reading and reading. And, reading. Uh, and then I meet some of them. Things are not easy. Mm -hmm. Things are not easy. I had to go and fetch one of my old friends that were together at form two, form three, form four. Yeah. Go and fetch him. I mean, say, Chile Luanubaba. Uchwala Zobum Chisi. Yeah. I'm a patcher, Kukumeli, Muba, Nituli Zulu. Gasa, 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 and Bangi dry clean. And he's looking old. I looked at him and said, This guy can pass for 101. He is my classmate. Yeah. So life has chewed him and beaten him up and everything else. So I said to one of us, go and fetch that friend of mine. I need him in the office so that we can come and just chat. chat. Yeah, I had the intention to bless him. Mm. So they went. He was so happy. In fact, I said, the bad thing that I felt is he was my friend, very argumentative at times. But this time around, when he sees me, he becomes like a child. Yeah. And he becomes like a child, like somebody that I can lift up and, and help. Mm. And life had done that to him. Mm. But you look at yourself. Find your classmates. You will find out what it is. Those who are on the negative side of life. It's tough. Mm. They keep on looking at you and saying, why do you look young like that? They don't know that it's the Lord that preserves you. Mm. Do you know that some of you don't really look at you, look your age, though you, though you are <laughs> your age. But when they look at you, they see the glow of God over your face. And they look at you and say, my God, what a young person you are. Yet when I wish, please look at your neighbor and say, I love the way your skin is glowing. Talk to them and say, I love the way your skin is glowing. Your skin has a glow. Pantenale. How's this pretty? We have Pulule Lum Talawak. I square Petrumi and Pira Lapuata. Zakleta Masiane Lap. Zakleta Pricket used Tatilimania. Isn't it good to be in the Lord? Right? And Russian vodka and And Moscow, Moscow. look at him. What? Yes. Let me go and think and let me pray. You did say. Kulezinto. Kulezinto tanda zangazo. Kulezinto say one time. Hey. Unga tu muntu zibidang manu chakumbo nutu pelele. Loko zidi. I will pray about. Give me three months. Three months we are tied away. We are three months to suffer against on Geno Munya Kalapa. One time. Catuzo did it, I'm the manager of a cool. Who am I? David says. And who are my people? What is it about my tribe? Who am I? After all, everything that I have comes from you. So, Lord, should you instruct me to give, I will give without hesitation. I won't lose my sleep. In fact, I will be the happiest person in life. Say hallelujah. Who am I? Tell your neighbor, who am I? Number three, 
I'm not a fool. I will never pay tithes. <laughs> Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworth, meditate on these things. Don't be in a category that, that debates about tithing. Is it, is it proper to tithe? Where is it in the Old Testament? Is it good, a good thing to give? So, <laughs> yeah, I don't see much of it in the New Testament. It is there. Don't debate about giving to God. Yeah, don't debate. It's like debating about, is it proper? Where is it in the Bible? Hey, give me more scriptures that say you should look after your children. Then they are your children. Look after them, mother, father. Look after them. Say amen. So people debate then over these things and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. Say amen. Number four. My hard earned money is not being properly used. So I will not pay tithes in this church. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we are using my money properly. Mm. So I don't think they use it properly. I think these guys, do they use my money properly? It's not yours once you have given it. Just leave it. Yeah, your job ends in giving it. The responsibility for, for how it's used is for those people. Yeah, how they use it, they'll stand before God. Mm. I pray that they use it properly. I pray that they are putting more money than what you've put yourself. Ah, so that you don't then get into these silly things that will bind you and, 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 and destroy your life. Here's the scripture. Psalm 131 verse 1. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I concern myself with great matters, nor with things too profound for me. We are also in the is in the do they turn left or uza loya wen au sali skat uza bayi ropa futi but ten inja left or right nza gengi balandeli kebu nuti bayi nza but gini toilet in bayi balele toilet don't concern yourself with things that you don't understand say amen Believe that your leaders are, are called by God. They fear God too. They will do the right thing. In fact, possibly if they are good leaders, they are givers more than you do. Mm -hmm. So if they believe in giving themselves, you know they are good leaders. Say amen. All right. So we are going to number five. The pastors are using our money to buy cars and houses for themselves. Thank God I give houses myself. <laughs> Where would I have answers to everything? Mm. So next time you're doing a project yourself and you're a leader of a project, make sure you put more. Once you put more, more than they put, yeah. so the pastors are using our money to buy cars. Uh, may but we are a church according to to city. But Baba you will stand one day with great abundance in your life because you are a good man. You have the kingdom of God at heart, and this will be your testimony. to Bishop Mm. Yeah. 
Uzumtinga, tu sais le passé. It's okay. Learn to be content in a season. Knowing that it's a season. If you can't handle a season, you can never be far. All of us pass through seasons. Mm. He's in a season, I'm in a season. Yeah, you will see my season change. Uzan zonda futi. Ngao lo mwa mwa. Uzaiboni season, eme yangena kwe. Nzangena kwe yi season, ngutu za tikati, ibaba lo, he track dila ini kumbi ini. There is no way I will give two houses here and lots of money that I have given for nothing. Hau kwa boni lutu. We na nguza, kutu zuchela bantu, kutu baba loana. Yeah. Because I believe in giving. Amen. Baba the same thing with you. Amen. Yeah. very child in South Africa. So we will Hey, Sorry, Suguma, mama, keeping Suguma, come and stand here, here next to this man. Yeah. They are young. This couple, isn't it? Yeah, but look at look at their understanding of spiritual things. Mwe kwenye pusu fagele mwa ya kuna tubu kali bego suti futi mwe, but but na utubu kile mama unga ki, unga tubu kanga michele. So thank you very much. May God move on your behalf. May God remember all the labors of love. Everything that you have done. The sacrifice when this man is working, instead of kissing you, he's busy here and working hard. May God remember and move on your behalf in the name of Jesus. So we call upon money that is his to respond to this situation. So that you mama lota dimpatis in Tazito, Elizabeth. Then what is on his nice funa? As in Gangara, as it all. Come on, guys. Amen, Amen. Amen. Yeah, Amen. We are blessing. Put your hands together for our chair. Ye, Baba, two minutes of blessing, church. Bona. Uncle Uncle, I'm blessing a man with Faggy envelope. Boom, the patcher. What is your boom into Saint Zelay in the church? Any anybody born with a malay on a kitchen? A workkeeper from Wednesday up to Saturday. In Calarate is Gaffold, a pez Lucona. This is what can go later. High Swiss funeral hour, Tina. Lanas is a keeper's work for a who capas his funeral hour. Sit taking a malight of a name. Goddess are Fagama corridors, La Pugati, Kuben Monon and Bijan. Lies over Salon. Don't forget in our place to come at a Bonaba and Tabach. Say Amen. Wow. The pastors are using our money to buy cars and houses for themselves. So I will not pay tithe to finance their extravagant lifestyle. No. <laughs> These are men and women of God that are a key to your next level. Amen. They themselves believe in giving. Mm -hmm. Apostle Paul says, I thank God I speak in tongues more than you all. I want to say I thank God I have given more than you all. Yeah. I have to tell you that. Why do I keep on saying that? So that you understand that we are not here for your money. We have put more money yeah. so that it circles your mind or in your mind that uh, hey, negative thoughts, negative thoughts, negative thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you have negative thoughts? Do you want to be like Judas? John 12 verse 3 and 6. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spinach anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her. And the house was filled with fragrance of oil. Look at a woman coming from a background. She wants to worship. She takes what historians tell us was an equivalent of 12 months wages of a soldier. She had received this because she was a woman of the streets. She takes her hard-earned cash and identifies 
her object of worship. She enters the room. <laughs> there are disciples there and there are men there. She passes. The moment she enters, every man there looks and says, we know her. We know her. Who is she looking for? Which guy did not pay yesterday? Everybody. And guess what? With that thought, she passes everybody and comes to Jesus. Confusion. But she demonstrates the power of worship. Ladies and gentlemen, you worship effectively when your heart is broken. When you are wounded and despised. When things are falling apart. When everybody looks at you and writes you off. Don't stay away from church. It is at that moment where the heavens can just open for you. Literally open. She came to the one man. Boom, and took that oil. All of it costly. Its contents on Jesus. But there was a dude there who was not spiritual. Like your neighbor. They touch your neighbor and say, that dude was like you. <laughs> Watch what that dude says. Then one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would betray him, what did he say? He said this. Why was this fragrant oil not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? missing the point. This woman has identified Jesus. Today, if you read the portion day of that scripture, Jesus said, wherever this gospel shall be preached, her name shall be remembered. I am preaching now over 2,000 years later. We are talking about the same woman. Hey, the power of a worshiper. Oh, I love to worship. If anything you can do, please worship. Praise is powerful. Let's praise. Let's dance. Let's get down. Yeah, let's bumburuga. But after bumburuga, please. Love on Jesus. Love him with all your heart. Love him with all everything that is in you. And when you do, ah, there's a fragrance that comes. In here, this fragrance filled the house. He came with an attitude. She came with an attitude. There were disciples there. Some of them were judgmental disciples. But she came in and changed the atmosphere. May worship change your atmosphere. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say Amen. Why was the oil not sold? And Judas is the amount already. Look at the amount here. 300 denarii and given to the poor. Judas was a thief. Yeah, he didn't care about the poor. He just was concerned about himself. Verse 6 says, this he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the money box and he used to take what was put in it. <laughs> How should this way not tell you? Why would treasure? A hukuli man. And Jesus knew that. Just say, leave him. It is the same thing that will hang him. Money. Was it not money that hung Judas? Mm -hmm. Because then he didn't then deal with that. And then the authorities came in and said, that man, can you sell him? Betray him. And they quickly talked of how much money will you give me? There are certain things that can never be sold. Mm, please. Certain things that can never be sold. There are certain people there are certain people that in your life you should not sell things to. Never do that. There are people that you sell things to 
if you want, can I tell you the secret of receiving blessing? Let's say somebody that you admire spiritually and you think this person is up there. Let's say they are sober. Look at their soberness. They are not greedy. They are not, yeah, I name it, claim it, I touch it and claim it. Let's say you think mm, they love this thing that I have. Don't go to them and say, how much would you give me if I gave you this? No. You find that as a door to say, I want to bless so and so. It seems like they love my dress. They are always looking at my dress. So let me know. When I decide to go and see, who buy West Kozako? One thing for ten dollars. So when you run, you miss your blessing. You miss your blessing. Whereas if you saw that interest and you said, I will give it to you. Amen. You want this? I'll give it. Take it. Hallelujah. Eh, take it. Hallelujah. You will see then sometimes when someone who is not selfish says something, it's a prophetic word to you. Amen. Eh, Amen. They are not aware of what they are saying. But it is up to you to interpret that, my God. This could be a door yeah. to my next level. Yeah. They don't need that, but you need to be elevated. Look at your neighbor and say, Spigiri, Spigiri. <laughs> you miss then an opportunity. For me, I will never, I don't know whether I should tell you this. Anyway, let me leave this. I don't think you are ready to handle this. Yeah. There are some people, ladies and gentlemen, let me be decent about this, that you should never sell things to. You give things to. I don't know what you are saying. What you are saying. You are saying that you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. But you are going nowhere. Yes. Whereas if you simply say it, this one is not for sale, then Uzabuna Susia Kurama. Ali Fundiswa Pelabani Mugu Panti Ali was very to go pag intelligent. You don't even understand. Yeah. Don't sell to Jesus. <laughs> don't see Jesus passing by and soon negotiate at ten dollars. No, no, in the one be fifteen dollars. Yeah. He is the man that can bless you. Amen. Jesus. Give it to him. <laughs> I thought to bless you. I thought to bless you. There was a certain person that I said to them, I like this. They said, oh, you like it, Bishop? Yeah, I said, yes, I, I'm not saying I like it because I want to take it from. I simply said, yes, no, on the contrary, I want to give it to you. I said, yeah, how much had you bought this thing for? They mentioned the figure. I said, I'm going to give you twice that man. We are going to be okay. Men, I'm a human being. But yin on the look, cool, cool, and now we win. Please, yin's in doing a good one. Melan was tennis. Oh, my child, Ashman in the hamper up. Oh, my child, who thinks any church is in do. Oh, can you look at the church? I'm in the other man needs. Let me so la banana. I check you after all. We're not going to walk. In Zaba, you're my prophets. I'm going to be my prophets in Chubana. So, I'm going to be a million. 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 I'm going to be a Close to 100 in my imagination. Yeah. See my name. Minus you. When we lose my light. Ah, Hassas. So he was a thief. <laughs> and he had the money box and he used to take what was put in it. Why is your own channel over? Because compassion is for the poor. Because the compassion is for the poor. Because the compassion is for the poor. Because the compassion is for the poor. Can you imagine 
This ministry is Jesus' ministry. Not led by a man of God. Led by God himself. Uh, it's called Jesus' ministry because he is the founder and leading it. He is a church member of 12. Uh, and he appoints you to look after money. Whenever you are a thief, demons will enter you. Let's take it back so that you will understand that you are a thief even resisted. You have been a thief. So several demons have entered you. <laughs> Ukaliza kuna puku chonja. Usu chonji bali kankulu nkulu chutas. Uza hamba kacha. Did you know what Jesus ended up doing? Hanging himself. Allow you look at life and say useless. Let me come out of church and bop. And that's the end of you. Ugu tule banteni basaruma. Ugu tule banteni mapostori. Hareruya. Hmm. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Number seven. Ten percent. Oh, is it six? All pastors are con men and thieves. So I'll not be tight. <laughs> I am sure some of you it has crossed your mind. You say, ah, I'm a foodist. <laughs> Not all prophets are false prophets. Amen. Not all apostles are false apostles. Amen. Not all the fivefold teachers, evangelists are false. Yeah. There are good ones there. Now, if you take the same brush, ongumdum painting, the same brush, uza pambanis. Mm. I know yourself. Seated there, you are an evil person. But it doesn't mean it all. You are a kid. I want to be. I want to go to the I want you to look at your room and say, one of us here is evil. But not all of us are evil. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. I like this, by the way. This is a beautiful thing. Hmm. So why do you then crucify the good with the devil? Is this not what the Jews did to Jesus Christ? They crucified a thief and pastor Jesus. Hmm. Ha. May God help us in the area of tithing. Say Amen. Lift up your hands and say, starting today, I will pay my tithes. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. 10% is too much to give, so I will not pay tithes. Yeah. Once you conquer the fear of money, to say 10% of 100, if God was to give you a million dollars, you will struggle to tithe 100,000. You will never because you have not been disciplined to tithe from the dollar that you receive or the 10 dollars. So when God then gives you more money, you begin to be a bigger thief. Because money is very strange. If you can't let go of small amounts, you can't let go of big amounts. Mm. That's why you must exercise your faith in terms of money. That you are able to part with it and give it so that you develop within you this discipline of giving. That's so powerful. Say amen. Say I'm a giver. Say it again. Say I'm a giver. How many here, if you got a billion dollars, you would tithe? What's 10% of a billion dollars? It's 100 million. 100 million. Uh, is it 100 million? Yeah. How many will tithe? You got, you got, <laughs> as well as long as your problems is that. But $10 there will I guess come in. I was a good tithe. <laughs> Still, that 100 million will give you a problem. Problems. 
Because the devil will minister to you and say, you can buy so many houses with this. You can't give. Strange when you have no money, how you think you are a giver until you hold it. Money speaks. <laughs> money is power. It will tell you, I don't want. I want to stay in your pocket. Uh, I don't want to go there. So if you have never disciplined a one dollar from a ten dollars, do you think you can discipline a hundred million dollars? You never. I want to say, I I Ten percent is too much. I will give five percent to God. And then that's the end of you. Galatians 6 verse 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man slash woman sows, that also they will reap. Say amen. Number eight. I am broke so I cannot pay tithes. I notice the people that violate the law of giving tithes are poor people. Yet he will find out about to come out of poverty. Lava banga la lutunja nga toli ten dollar sekka banga. Inya malia na yungu chiti niye singe itenga. Niye nzibe mkwapa. <laughs> you will die poor. Teach yourself early. Ladies, can I tell you that? Don't go out with a guy who doesn't tithe. You will suffer. I tell you that. You will have everything breaking in your home. Because this guy does not believe in tithing. If your husband does not believe in tithing, sit down with him and say, please, happy. Let's get into this thing. It will help us. Or at least allow me to tithe from what I have. Because you will not go anywhere. Unless you go back to God and say, Lord, we are coming to honor this principle here. It is a principle. It is a command from God that you should honor. By the way, what's your feeling about tithing? Uh-huh. This is a as we get married. Just say, ah, uh-uh. ah. I'm going to go it's a prophetic word that is coming that you will starve and get poor until you leave this planet earth you can imagine your husband being a thief number one she's a tither now do you tithe how many years? We say, 10 years. Run away from that guy. Listen, say that. Doctor. fall in love with him, sis. No mum couples, lift up your hand if you're a couple. If, or right, if you are married. All those that are married, stand up. Stand, please. I go now when I was here and I saw the pass. Or tonight, I pass. Right. Make sure you don't go knife Ananias and Zafir with your with your with your Zafir, not to pay time. Oh, when you win, grab a soap, go na pan. That's why the fellow look is it. Because the Limadigan you may seem like you are getting by with a one just kitty. Kit, 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 kit. Fundisanan with a pants going to put lay, Maria and Kurung. Let tie properly. I couldn't give Kilenu Sasia Punkurung gift. 
Uti asipo ne uti aya well change change story story ten thousand asipo kulukuli hundred dollars Nancy tied I saw tied le le woman and what is ten percent of this amount it is that ten percent that you carry and then say Lord bless everything about our business I'm a businessman I'm a neng I got tied properly I'm a seller. So Bible says churches be look for looting and by pumelele be pumelele because the grace is there. But what's stopping them is they don't follow the principle. Yes, they don't follow the principle, and they don't tithe from their businesses. And you could clearly quickly the business. We was on city men and turned to be so I'm a business people in his attendance and shops because the escati and Zika Lord, what am I doing? Instead of Hambanje, more were pastoral. But Pagat Yamengos with Agula and Zoga and Zagala. How tired the bill from your business? So Miss Wooding is a tenant in his colleagues was up. His colleagues are the same business. Nepon Gamba Jotinga was on DC. Nepon Figalam in Chachalas, Chacha, 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 and say whatever, whatever will please you. Lord, I'm asking that you place this place. But the Ukurukuruti, how tired from this business? Fundan at an early stage if you're going to be billionaires to trust God. Sienzamalin, what are expenses? Whether you are tithing from your business quarterly or yearly, make sure that thing goes to the altar. The fundis are Ananias lo suffering. And you know Ananias when lo suffering. No, 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 no. So that when you cry to God, God hears you. <laughs> yes. Yonki male umeru tumda upa yona. Make sure you are tithing. Make sure you are blessing God. Mm. <laughs> All right. Aba nyeri sukumi ne lapa ni yahola. Ali tithe. But aba nye ni lama pizza sa matai. Ni lama sela longi. Ni lama sela kankurukuru. <laughs> so ke yena nointi ke bibu ya ichachala ziyehla ihamba. Because you don't honor God that way. Ntelu ka eru usafira wako mbo Ananias today. Ananias safira. I say in Zeni Jesus right la. Aya. In Jesus right. Just to honor God. To show him that you love him more than your man. Just that. He who has ears, let them hear. Yeah. So I'm broke. I cannot pay tithe. Being broke is nothing unusual. The World Bank estimated that in 2011, there were 2.7 people, billion people classified as living below the poverty data line. But then, may you be an exception. May God come to, to you and bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Say amen. Mm. Number nine. I am building a house so I cannot pay my tithe. <laughs> I'm building a house so I cannot pay my tithe. Oh, I'm starting a business so I cannot pay my tithe. <laughs> Asas. Oh, I've just gotten a job. I don't know fire in West 3. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't need your services. But they wake up in Manchester and eight, but you know, they fire you. Because you have a case over your life of stealing from God. Will a man rob God? You say, Where in have we robbed God? And he comes in and he says, In tithes and offering. The statement that follows is, you are cursed with a kiss. Man, you can't believe it's too sure. Hey. 
Ubusuchada, and you find a beautiful lady, but the lady is a thief. And here you are, you are doing everything right, you are tithing alone, and you marry a thief. And every way we marry you and so forth, everybody claps hands and they say, kiss the bride, you kiss that thief. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like kissing a snake. Uh, the moment young man she puts a tongue in your mouth is the tongue of a python and a viper, a viper. Yeah. So you are doing well alone. But you found a thief. She will start stealing from you. Because she has been stealing from God. We are a human being after all. So ask the lady, mm, what do you think about tithing? I said, ah, oh, yeah, really some of these things we better buy uh, uh, is into a furniture. Leave that girl. Don't marry that girl. Mm. Do you have a girlfriend? Okay, so I'm helping you for future. Mm. Yeah. Leave that girl. No matter how beautiful she is, yellow, blue, orange leave <laughs> I was counseling I was counseling a certain couple to a certain man that had a very beautiful wife this man the man was very good I've never seen a good man like that. He came to me and said, Bishop, I give everything that I earn to this lady. But this lady was not all right. Yeah, the moment I looked at her, I said, Nantu But I couldn't say that in front. Just this is a mad, beautiful woman woman. Do you know what you love move. I'm a swakai chincha. I move up between brown, green, and blue. Mm. Green, you my colors on Allah. This is a true story. All my stories are true. This also is true. So he came with this lady. She says, This is my wife. Mm. But I could see that this woman is harsh. The moment he says, This is my wife, I could tell. This man is having a hard time. I think umamu is a punyugalo. Moba baba bani ngabantu bamukhangela. Even now baba chile ongambona ongamukhangela twice. Shake it up, okay. But if you pass through a mesola na kuzimula chicha yo, we abonu kutanya la matimon. That woman was demon possessed. I just looked at her and knew she was demon possessed. I looked at the man and I just felt pity for the man. I'm looking for a man. I'm looking for this type. <laughs> this is a true story. So I shut it. I said, Shut up. You are demon possessed yourself. You have found a good man. Uh-huh. Women can women are daughter. But with a few ama women are super my daughter. A bedroom where for my dates, you are having sex on on this day and that day and that day and that day. That's all. <laughs> no more, no less. We have a good ticker, so we can't win in Namta. If you don't want my stories, I will stop telling you. If they bother you, I will stop telling I don't need to tell you. But these stories I've cleaned over years. They're true stories. Yeah, if I go in month there, and in three days. Kati bono ba we tule laputi ba tule guko kono. 
They know what I'm talking about. Three days, Mama Fir. One, two, and three. <laughs> no matter how romantic you feel, you have your days. Who are the patients? Who's Are you not a man of God? How so full of this is self control? Zibambe. I could have <laughs> so I rebuked that woman. Yeah. yeah, I knew she was full of demons. Satan, Bagat. Over name was Satan. I said, Shut up. Yeah, I'm not this man that you are terrorizing. Shut up and sit down and listen. Uza uchi wabalo. Uza watula nga papa and taba bisu mkulu papa. Chui nani maria kod. Hey, that was the whole thing. Hey. Can you imagine? You find a man like that. <laughs> so I just rebuked her and said, You don't last with this man. Yeah. They're not together. The man walked out and walked away. What's that? I'm going to go to the house. Yes. We have one at Tinema counseling sessions with Julian Jones in Jatkona. So he compares that man with someone else. Yeah. Who is the man? Oh. <laughs> That's a good question, Doc. <laughs> Joke. That's the most spiritual question that you gave us. I will try and fight him. Yeah, I will try and fight him. If I find him, Doc, I will let you know. Uh, yeah. There is a sensible woman looking for that man. Because you hardly fight men like that. The man was terrorized. And the man feared the lady. Yeah. I think the lady lay away was it and then there's another one. <laughs> I'm, I, before I finish, at least I forget. Yeah. This one comes to me and says, uh, 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 he calls her husband by a certain name in case they watch this, so I don't want them to know. <laughs> he says, yeah, you know, my husband knows. Knows that I'm very beautiful. Oh, yeah. Already I'm just up to here when she says that. My husband knows I'm beautiful. So everywhere where we go, men look at me. <laughs> hey. Yeah. So I tell my husband, be steady. It is because I'm beautiful. Yeah. That, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, that's how beautiful I am. I can't help it because I'm beautiful. I'm listening to this garbage coming through. And this Ahab is quiet. It is always an Ahab that creates a Jezebel. Always. This story is very true. That's why I can't mention the words because now and again they watch what I am doing. But a devilish woman. And this man is is agreeing. Yes. yeah. My my wife, yeah. They, they look at, and she mentions the places where they, I can't mention that place because they, she mentions, says, yeah, when we pass through a place like that, yeah, so, so what can I do? Yeah, what can I do? I just listen to, I just can't wait for her to finish. I said, you're a demon-possessed woman. Yeah, and I said, you have a stupid husband. Together, you and you who's demon-possessed, get away from here. I'm body the woman. I'm body under this cat. We are justified. So Get away. Get away with him. Don't waste my time. That was the end of the story. <laughs> he would he had a, a term of endearment that you would call this lady. Oh, but, oh yeah, it's mentioned that. 
It will butter the men, but you will say, as you know, we are was Peru. Uguti. Minabantu wankangela everywhere where I go. My counseling sessions have been very difficult. So I said, Mom, I don't know who you think you are talking to. Get away from me. Just go. Go. Tatu nobulo kololo. Lipume sisabumu sisapela njati. Mwabu nobulo kololo. Lulu alutingi kansil. Litungu tingizo kutini mina. We are fuma wenale yuti ye. Haisibili ye. Pumane ofisi. Hampani. I have no time for this. <laughs> hey, this is bona, but we are talking of tithing. I don't know why I went into all this. Thing. So you are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole family. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> a city like this. <laughs> They're saying the husband ended up city like this. <laughs> you know, a man is created to lead one way or the other. Please, if your husband can't lead, help them, build them up to lead. Mm -hmm. So that at one time they would tell you, you yeah, are stop. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Shut up. Hallelujah. Being a sad man sanctions. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. When you are uh, sure. Fagun your parts. So I said to both parties, just get away from me. Mm. So you must tithe, whether you have a job, whether you are building a house, whether you are building a factory, whether you are building a swimming pool. Haggai 1, verse 2 and 6. Watch what Haggai says. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, say, These people say, the time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. But watch verse 3. Then the word of the Lord came by Haggai, the prophet, saying, Saying what? Is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses? And this temple lies desolate. Mm -hmm. Now therefore, that says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Let's put it in the middle. Consider your ways. You have sown so much. There is inflation now. Can you see inflation? Amen. Yeah. You have sown so much and bring in little. You eat but do not have enough. You drink, but you're not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put in a bag with holes. That's an inflationary. That's what we call hyperinflation. Or galloping or runaway inflation taking place there. It is because you have violated the principles of God. Mm. Capella. Right. I have a funeral, so I cannot pay tithes this month. <laughs> Why can't you tell your children that you have a funeral and you can't pay their fees? You choose always is God that must suffer. Yeah, always your things. Uh, if you have found a soft spot, you think God is. Mm -hmm. Everything gets paid except that which goes to God. And then it says to you, you don't honor God. That which you won't honor can never be a blessing to you. It can never be a blessing to you. Mm. So once you begin to honor God and you put him first, you will see things beginning to change in your life. We have said you will find money for your kids when they are crying. You will find it. Oh yeah, but not for God. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm going to lose a Swiss auntie. 
And he says the silver is his and the gold is his. So he has too much anyway. <laughs> it's a principle meant to help you. You're violating it. And then you pay a price. Can I go to number? I will do two more and then we close. Mm -hmm. I have lots of debts so I cannot pay tithe. If we have lots of debts, the more the reason you should pay your tithe. Mm -hmm. Pay your tithe. Honor God in that fire. He will see that you are honoring him. Most people in the world are in a form of debt or the other. So don't therefore treat your tithe as a beard that can be shaved off. I am Tithe is there to stay in your life. It must be there. You must tithe. We should tell I struggled with this principle many years ago. Okay, like I said, my wife helped me here. Many, many years ago, when we got married. When we got married, she had been taught well. I had not been. Remember, I was a thief. I used to take <laughs> and not give. <laughs> I met one of my, my aunts that I used to steal money from her purse and confessed and said, I said, So I said, I'm really so sorry. Mm, I apologize. Yeah. So I have to bless you. Yeah, I apologize. Mm, yeah. So I had to tell her. She laughed and laughed. Oh, she said, Oh, because I would go for the big one. You know that big 25 cents? My mother used to call it tuna nsigis. It tuna nsigis. So I would take them. Mm. Don't look at me like you've never stolen yourself. In fact, you have, you have stolen bigger things than, than me. <laughs> My life, I try to make it an open book and tell you where yeah. So there, when I got married, then I found it very difficult to tithe. Mm. Ah, tithe. Why do we need to tithe the full amount? Yeah. Why can't we just give God a dollar? Yes, it's the full amount that we must tithe. I got it. Mm. I got it. When I look struggling in tithe, that, please, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, when he lunch with the American Kurukuri, you could be by negative. You know, is this will happen? Campbellapo, near weekend day, and as with what said, I'm going to go about the tithe. Gang of business, no, we park at my church. Go get service. No, I put two busy toilets. I hope I'll thank you, tithe store. You know, you don't care. Even you know, is this crazy joy. You want to tithe, lover. <laughs> Stand up, let's deal with number 12 and go home. Mm. I'm a widow or a widower, so I cannot pay tithes. Yeah. Let's put that as a state of condition you may be in or struggling in life. Or, or, or you have no one, you are, you are a single mother or a single father. This whole thing applies. Mark 12, 41 to 43. Now Jesus sat opposite the treasure and saw how the people put money into the treasure and men who were rich put in much. Then one poor widow came and threw in two mites, which make quadrants. And verse 43. So he called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assured I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all those who have given to the treasure. And then, is that so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here is a giving session. And Jesus decides to sit and observe the patterns of giving. He sees the rich giving out of abundance. 
but really it's not the tithe. They're not doing that. They're just giving, but they're remaining with much more. They could have done far better. But he sees a woman give out of her need. It is this thing that caught Jesus' attention. And therefore he speaks. And he says to, I should, I say to you, that this poor widow has put in more than all those who have given up. Why? Because it is that which remains Amen. that makes a difference. Amen. She gave out of a need, but she gave more than all at that time. May God teach you to tithe. If you are going to be a successful pastor or a leader, learn to tithe. Because tithe is more than taught. It is caught. Uh -huh. If you teach on tithing and you don't tithe yourself, people will pick your spirit. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it is that principle. Tithing is key. It must be taught without fear, without being ashamed. Teach it line by line so that people will understand that tithing is powerful. Don't worry about whether people will think you like money or not. You know you don't really love money yourself. You're delivered from there. So you teach that principle. Let your children, parents that are here, at an early age, teach them. If someone gives them $10, say, hey, put a dollar there for God. At an early age, because to try and catch the principles of tithing, Sudi so very you are fighting you are, you are always trying to justify why you can't give and therefore you don't reach certain levels of spirituality you don't reach them you remain a dwarf in the spirit and therefore you find that resources don't gravitate towards you they don't money somehow tends to gravitate towards people that tithe, that give it. Yeah, it goes and flows there. May God bless you to understand these principles. Husbands and wives, sit down together with your pretty wife and say, pretty wife, sing a masela lap, sing a tithe. We must tithe. Yeah, be tough if you're a man. Be tough in there and say, hey, Let's not look at what we are remaining with. Let's honor God and test God. Prove me now herewith. If I will not open the windows of heaven. Honor God in time. Even the anointing tends to flow towards the men and women that tithe. We say that I will be anointed. Why should a thief be anointed? When they are honest people that can carry an anointing. Mm. And I'm a seller, my name, good tithing, I'm a suit, I'm a suit. I'm my name, I'm a perfume, I'm a coach, or yet, I'm my name, I'm a week, I'm a chin, I'm a seller, I'm a seller, why, why? May you never be a thief as a young man. May you refuse to violate the laws of God there, right there. Because once you learn that, it's very difficult to undo that. And therefore, you'll find that you become average. God cannot trust you with resources. He cannot trust you with resources. Never. When you are crying for billions and wealth transfer, which we will be teaching on soon, He will not trust you with that. But you go to those that He knows. When He says, There, they will move in and do that. Say amen. Am I teaching okay? Are you happy or you are not happy? Well, it doesn't matter whether you are happy or not happy. I've just taught you things. Number 13. I'm a student, so I cannot pay tithes. I'm a student. <laughs> Students, tithing is not from your salary. It's income. Anything coming to you, if someone gives you $10, give $1. So you can't say I'm a student. You can't say I am unemployed. It has nothing to do with that. Anything that you receive, teach yourself to pay a percentage, 10% of that. 
You can't. You will begin to see in these days that we are getting into money loving certain people that have been faithful. It's not far before you see it. Yeah. Most you are colorful to because you have been stealing from God for years. Mm -hmm. These others have been faithful for years. The cup, there are two cups, ladies and gentlemen, if you read the book of Revelation. Two cups. A cup of righteousness and a cup of evil. At times the things of God work this way. That the cup must be full before judgment comes in or before blessings come in. You are doing something good. You are thinking, but Lord, when will you remember me? It is a cup that must fill up. Once that cup fills up, do we have a cup here? Once that cup fills up, yeah, there is a cup here. Once that cup fills up and it overflows, then either judgment comes in or blessings come in. At times we think God is not seeing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He's not seeing your goodness, everything good that you're doing. Oh, he sees. Oh, he sees. Yeah. It's only in your mind to think it is not seeing. Keep on doing good. You will find that suddenly, that's why people call them the suddenlies of God. They are no suddenlies. He would been working with you behind the scenes and watching and observing and saying at a certain point in time, now. When he says now, and people turn around and say, oh, it just happened with that person. Hey, God just collided with it. No. There's nothing like that in the kingdom of God. Say amen. Yeah, I know you are saying, Lord, when? I've been giving. When, Lord? When, when? When will this happen? When? Soon. Soon it will happen. So as a student, you can't say I'm a student. I cannot pay tithes. Pay from that which comes into your life. Do students eat food? There are the questions that you might ask. Yeah? Do students eat food? Do students wear clothes? Do students, some of them drive cars? Yes. Do they have girlfriends? Yes. In fact, most students have girlfriends. I'm a girl, you are pure as onkies. If you're going out with a student, you will sit pretty. He allows your student. You will be a good So students, therefore, must pay tithes. We can't exempt them. Proverbs 3, verse 9. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. You must honor God with that. Can I end? I said I ended number 12, but now this one I'm ending with, number 14. I'm an, I'm an, I am unemployed, so I cannot pay tithes. Paying tithes has nothing to do with whether you are employed or not. Pay tithe. Anybody who blesses you with something, honor God in that way. It's a joy to pastor a church where people give. It is a joy. Because things are easy. Yeah, it makes a church develop faster. They can think, right, we need this and it's done. We need that and it's done. We need that and it's done. It's a pain to pastor a church where people don't give. They don't understand the value of giving. They think church is for them to come and cry and then pastors sort their problems out. They don't think the other side. That it's a place where we can enhance it and make it look nice and enjoyable. Yeah. So once we get responsible in our minds, church becomes enjoyable. Many pastors struggle financially. Many. I did an altar call sometime where I was ministering and a chain of pastors coming through. When you were asked some of them, they would tell you one thing. It's hard. Ministry is hard. These are young pastors. They're looking to the future and they're looking and saying, my God, because they're pastoring people that don't think about them and the ministry. Yeah, they just want these pastors to stand up yeah, and come up with revelation. Ulambi lu pastor. Seven people notice anything here. Pastor is hungry, and therefore these young pastors end up doing gimmicks. Yeah, but then it's a very prophesy, prophesy, very prophet, so that they can excite you. Mm. 
May God help all of us to tithe. Can you lift up your hands? Let's confess the sin of non-tithing. Yeah. Let's confess that. So that that case will leave you. Confess it for yourself and for this whole church and this whole apostolic house. I'm not saying Harvest House is full of wonderful people that understand time because we teach it. But just in case, confess it for yourself and all others. Say, Lord Jesus, we come before you having had your word concerning tithing. We know that non-tithers are under a case. We don't want this case upon our lives because it will not only affect us but affect our children as well. Forgive us for being non-tithers. Starting today, deliver us and forgive us for failing to tithe. We'll be those that will honor you in tithes and offerings from that which comes to us, that which comes to our businesses, that which comes as a blessing to us. We will remember to give of our tithes in the name of Jesus. May the case that is upon us, the case of thieves, be broken of our lives. We promise that we will obey your word in tithes and in offerings in the name of Jesus. Heal us, Lord, from such in Jesus' mighty name. Say Amen. I am going to lead you in one prayer. I had put Malachi there, prayer items, and all the benefits. There are seven benefits in the book of Malachi pertaining to tithes. But we have no time here. We need to, to go. I will just choose what I think you like most. Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12. There are points there that would amaze you if you take time. To, to, to read that. Alright, Malachi. I won't read again. Will a man rob God as you can see? Yes, you say, in what way have we robbed God? In tithes and offer. Give me verse 9 now. Verse 9 says, you are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me even this whole nation. Next, 10. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse. There is number one that we want to pray. That there may be food in my house. And there are places where you go to church and you think, into it, all you see pure. One lulasa, lulasa, eh, lulasa. I will not talk to my old man. Old man, be for a church to be able to produce and teach substance, it is because the principle of tithing is obeyed. The apalama notes are bent. Eh, Abba is saying, "I'm a preacher." Saying, "I thought I'm not saying I'm going to help." But if you say, "I'm a sermon," I'm saying. I'm a revelation. Nearly feet that beat the lip a little lama poo. Would no one who's the son of a tiny poo who found this because you're fed. We don't know as harvesters to stand up and not feed people, just to meander. We can't, we can't do that. All of my sons stand up and give you and teach one, two, three, four. You can write such that when you are listening to someone. Who doesn't teach lay foundations? You feel confused. You live empty there. Because we teach. Why do we teach? Because there must be food in the house. Yeah. Line upon line, we teach. Such that your mind now is geared to say, Kati, kube kutuan la pana mpalanga luto. Aha. Unga fikum to po u si fungza ninja kazing a conclusion. A cleaning introduction. Then Upuma who said, because you know the word. The word must be taught. Look at all these declarations that we gave you. Look at the end time events. How we brought the message right through. Oh, yeah, revelation after revelation. That's how it ought to be in a good church where you are taught. Where the Bible is opened, fear where the Bible is not quoted. Where the Bible is opened, people are taught that is supported by scripture. That's what a Bible church must do. But for that, that's the myth that we're talking about. 
Say Amen. The next one. Mm. The next one. If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, tithing causes the windows of heaven to be opened and that the blessings will come to you. Blessings. We must see you now this way and down the line that way. Even ministry itself is progression. We started at our home. <laughs> you have seen us. You have been with us, some of you. We are moving, isn't it? <laughs> we are not standing still because we are serving a dynamic God. We started in the house. No, nothing. No microphone. No microphone. Then from a house to hiring a theater. From a theater to buying a building. From buying a building to buying this land. Buying a land to building. What is this? This is the blessing of the Lord. So there must be some principles that we follow that causes God to bless. <laughs> Not only from that, from to a point where the president of the nation will be coming here in the next two weeks. <laughs> to come and say, if a people can do this, I must be present there. Yeah. It takes a lot to move a president of a nation. He doesn't come because he likes you. Or because you say, hello, hello, hello. No. He comes because he thinks, wow, there. These people have done this. I'm going there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's what we call the blessing of the Lord if you don't see it. It is God. It simply says God. To, to, to bring a bishop called Bishop Doug in a, in a charter plane. Charter plane. To go and land there. In a plane. With a lot of people to come in. There. Do you think he is stopping two days for a crusade? We is preaching to thousands and thousands to come in here and then leave. <laughs> uh -huh. And his sons are coming from Botswana, South Africa. Uh, uh, the whole Zimbabwe nation says, when he's here, shut everything. Be with Bishop Nyati. <laughs> you're choking <laughs> you don't know what a blessing is so when you're in a ministry like that tap into it so that your life as well will move that yeah. <laughs> can't you see a blessing of the Lord can you see it though <laughs> you can see it are you seeing it that's why he's here <laughs> on Sunday I was with him but when are you take it for granted? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try and call a speaker. A speaker when as if you would see You see what it is. This is a man with thousands of churches. Where everybody is calling him. South America come. Yeah. West Indies come. America come. Everywhere. And he decides, you know what? I'm going to Zimbabwe. <laughs> This is where I want to be. It is that blessing that we talk about that's compounded over time as you do the things of God, as you work the things of God and obey. Initially, it may seem like you are the same with your neighbor, but as you continue with this law of God, there is a distinction. Uh -huh. It just tells you, you are blessed by God. Yeah. So you guys that are here, you are blessed by God. You better understand that. You better understand that. You musicians, you better understand that you have a bishop that puts $400,000 into your lives. <laughs> Some others can't put even a thousand on musicians. Yeah. 400,000 into your lives and you have bus, a bus in the clash you just drive those that went with me they arrived in style Shh, in your bus and you get in your bus <laughs> why should I give you a bus in the building at or a black and white why because you are blessed <laughs> you don't say it yeah. Why would spirit of praise come here and ask, please can we do a show here? 
And then I say, I want my choir singing there. Why could I not say, no, no, don't worry, come and do it here. Why? Because you're blessed. So it is these things that you take for granted that don't happen to an ordinary people and to an ordinary church. So once you step back and begin to say, yeah, we are blessed. Then you then play your part in a church like that. Serious part. Serious part. If 400,000 in my name, I could do a lot with 400,000. Yeah. The other about 300 and something thousand. The other one 250 something. Yeah. Same we father, same is cool as is to do. <laughs> so then you begin to understand why am I in this church? Why is this man worried about us so much? That he he does so much for us and so much. Yeah, yeah they have one too. <laughs> Can you imagine? Five years we spent here in cold winter, COVID, just thinking we are building for our children, for our sons and daughters. We are building. We could have said, no, we don't want to do this. It's too hard. It's too hard. Look at what we're going through now preparing. Some of you don't know what we go through when we prepare to host these people. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of sacrifice. It's a lot of time caring. So that then, Lababa when president close by, they will be able to see him. Unga figu maaka, basa kuchaya. from far. But he chooses to come to where you are. Where you are. Even if you don't see it, you are blessed. Open your eyes and begin to appreciate that. That's why when they see you say, I come from office, they say, you have too much money. Like, they ask you one question. Where do you get money from? Isn't it? Yeah. Me, me, people ask me the same question. Where do you get money from? You harvesters. All of you seem to have money. <laughs> so then they say, oh, are you hearing what I'm talking about? It is called open windows of heaven to pour you out a blessing. Sometimes it's hard to define a blessing. But you live in it and you enjoy it. Hey. I went with my choir of over what? 30, 45. How many were you? 45. You are in someone's stage. You are singing. Someone has taken time to prepare a conference for themselves. Or a prayer meeting. And you come in. Because you happen to come with me. You are given 30 minutes. 33 zero minutes. Don't think you humble it to one but but I'm fucking toilet delay. That's what. But because you happen to walk with me, uh, you walk with me. Then you leave and you go to city hall. Again, you are given food. You ate food. Uh, forget what happened, but you ate food. <laughs> you ate food. You are taken to the top of the city hall. To go and eat food. Yeah? Hey, let me go further so that you it sinks in your mind that when the Bible talks of blessing, at times you are thinking of yours. But think of this corporate blessing. Some of you went with me to Abu Dhabi. Tickets were bought for you. In London, recently, Abu Dhabi, to stay in a hotel paid for. <laughs> <laughs> just fly though I flew business class you were behind that's fine you, your time will come you, it was premium economy yeah. your time will come <laughs> business class I went with some to, to, to Abu Dhabi to go to the city hall I went with some to Ghana Ghana and then I took them to to the lounge because I'm a pastor who cares for my, my sheep. It is a blessing. 
it is a blessing. Are you seeing all this? It means really the world opens up for you. We were in Ghana in a conference where there are over 97 countries represented. I just stood to ask to say, can you pray for my pastors? There are 97 countries. My pastors are called. Where will you lay hands on? You yeah, laid hands on. <laughs> Why you? Coming from what is this it called? Pula, 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 pula. Why would hands be laid by people that many fly to see? Just to see. You just come in. We come be and hands are laid on you. And oil is poured. It is a blessing. When you begin to recount and look at those things, then you know the windows of heaven are open in your life. Are you understanding? It is called a blessing. You're always asking, ah, but when will I get this blessing? It is working in you slowly. Yeah. You don't see it. Eventually, it's a come and a place because I want to see. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Why do people honor you? They don't honor you really. They are honoring me so that they honor. They don't care about you. Hey, you are enjoying what we call overflows. Hey, otherwise, we're not going to work with the mundi. What is Sagalumund? Anyway, let's stop there so that you understand these principles working. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go home. I know there is music practice for those that are practicing. Thank you for being disciplined musicians. You are an amazing bunch of people. Ashers and all. I come by one department. So many in cafe up. Ashers, thank you. Church, thank you for being disciplined. And tithers, thank you. And evangelists, thank you. And I will talk, thank you, counselors. All of you, Siabo, and so that we cover everybody. But we are going home. Before we go home, we need to give. We will never preach on giving until we begin. I took a gift equivalent to $10,000 to the church where I went to to bless them because they, they are building. They want to build. They want to build. I took that gift so that they, 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 they will be blessed. We say, but Bishop, you have never given me money. No, you are not building yourself the house of God. Unless you start building the house of God, then. So it is your tithe that we are asking for. It is your offering too that we are asking for. That you should do this with whether I'm teaching on tithing or not. You should do that. On Sunday, I want to show you entrepreneurs that were blessed by God. Business people in the Bible that were blessed by God. Because they obeyed. So, give God. I am generous. Give God. I am generous. I am generous. I am giving to God. Is that not so? We are all blessed differently. Yeah. Differently. So, if you are carrying your tithe to write down that, your name rather on that. Are you writing my envelope there? Mm, thank you. Sorry for keeping you late, but this subject is, is a very good subject for me. I could teach it for almost one year on tithing, just and offerings, right through. But we have only two months. Plus, come December now, we may have guest speakers here. I think Wesley Chambers may be here from New Zealand to, to come and preach here in the next uh, or in the next one week or two weeks. They're coming early here, so so he will come in. You you have Janet and Wesley. Janet is a prophetess, a true true prophetess who is used by God to see pictures and dreams and, and so forth. Like a movie. Rolling, rolling pictures. So, so she's prophesied a lot on me. In fact, the growth of this church, it is her prophecies that have come through over time. And over so I said, can I separate you? Can we have one of you and then we send this? Says, no, no. Can we come together? So they, they are here. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So get ready for, for the conference, but before the conference, get ready to work hard and to give harder so that we can host this thing 
in a successful manner. All right. Lift up your tithe or your offerings. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm sowing on very fertile ground. The windows of heaven are open and the blessings of God are coming my way. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we are giving then and going home. Thank you for being here.